So for the remaining time, let's go into MATLAB and uh, uh, try to implement at least the one of the limiters and see how to integrate what we learned together. So we are going to use Burgers equation, not Burger, but Burgers equation as an example. T and U, D U D T. So any finite volume scheme, we are going to compute n is equal to length of u and dx is equal to 1 divided by n. So we are going to reconstruct u of i plus half and uh, uh, left and we are going to also reconstruct a u of i plus half right all right and once we reconstruct this we are going to apply apply good enough scheme to compute f and uh, this is f at the interfaces and I'm going to say f is equal to 0 f 0 so that gets us uh, gives us all the boundaries we need and the du dt would be equal to for any finite volume schemes du dt would be equal to f uh, 2 1 to end minus 1 minus f 2 to end divided by dx so that's the grand scheme of how to compute things so before we do any reconstruction let's compute the ui minus one and ui uh so ui and ui minus ones right so so let's consider ui plus half left we first do ui uh minus one is equal to so let's still imagine zero bounded conditions we put zero and u of one to n minus one so this is my ui minus one i'm just constructing this as an array all right and i also need ui plus one it is equal to u from two to n and i also put a zero at the end that's the value beyond the boundary okay so my ratio here would be ui plus one minus ui divide by ui minus one u minus ui minus one so this is my r okay so if i use van Leer limiter uh so so let's just uh, use a general limiter function phi is equal to limiter of r so i'm going to write a limiter here uh function phi is equal to limiter r okay so for example if i want the van Leer limiter uh, i would be saying phi is going to be equal to uh, let's look at what we have is either 0 or 2r divided by 1 plus r so let's first uh, compute 2r divided by 1 plus r and phi of whenever r is less or equal to 0 would be equal to 0 all right Another case we want to take care of is when r is uh, going to be a 0 divided by 0, which is not a number. So phi of any not is finite r, uh, I'm going to set it to 0. Because remember, when, when we actually use the limiter, phi is going to be multiplied with the difference 
where is phi? When we use the limiter, <laughs> phi is going to be multiplied with the ui minus ui minus 1. So if we get a divide by 0, we are also, uh, in R, we are, when we use phi, phi is going to be multiplied by 0. So it doesn't, in that case, when R is equal to not a number infinity, it doesn't matter what the value of phi is, as long as it's not uh, not a number, I am fine. So this is going to be my implementation of the Van Leer limiter. Any questions? Pardon? Line 9? Oh, yeah. Thank you. All right. Okay. So once I compute the phi, I can compute ui plus half left is going to be, according to my formula, is going to be ui plus half of ui minus ui minus 1. <coughs> ui minus ui minus 1 times my phi. That completes my reconstruction of the flux at the left. Compu reconstructing the flux at the right is very similar, but I go from the right. So instead of ui minus 1, uh, so I already have ui minus 1. So what I need here the equivalence of ui minus 1 is ui plus 2, right? So that's the, the cell away on the right and away from the interface. Is equal to ui plus 1, 2 to the end, 0. So I further shifted using ui plus 1. Okay. And... Uh, uh, my r in this case is going to be okay instead of ui plus 1 minus u i have ui minus 1 minus wait is that right uh, ui plus 1 okay uh, so let me let me write down the formula first for the right reconstruction otherwise So ui plus half left is equal to ui plus ui minus ui minus 1 divided by 2. That's the slope times dx uh, times phi of ui plus 1 minus ui divided by ui minus ui minus 1. And ui plus half from the right is equal to, in this case, i i plus one i plus two so i so this is this is going to be playing the role of ui minus one ui plus one is going to play the role of ui and uh, i is going to play the role of not here i is going to play the role of ui plus one right so i'm looking at here when i'm constructing the left i'm looking at these three cells. So when I'm constructing the right, uh, I'm looking at these three cells. So, so on the right would be ui plus 1 plus half of, instead of ui, I have ui plus 1. Instead of minus ui minus 1, I have minus ui plus 2 times phi of, instead of ui plus 1, I have ui Instead of ui, I have ui plus 1. And uh, ui minus ui minus 1 would be ui plus 1 minus ui plus 2, right? Does it make sense? I'm just flipping the, the indices. Okay. So my r would be equal to this value ui minus ui plus 1. divided by ui plus 1 minus ui plus 2. Okay, and uh, phi is going to be limiter of r 
and uh, my UI plus half right is gonna be UI plus one plus 0.5 times UI plus one minus minus UI plus two times five. All right, any questions so far? Did I, uh, here should be dot multiply, here should be dot multiply. Any other bugs you're seeing here?